Hey there, friends. Okay, so what do we do if we've decided that we no longer want to be carrying around the grudge and we want to make the relationship better? Maybe it's with a loved one, right? Um, maybe it's a friend, whatever it is. You wanna feel better about it and you've decided that you're gonna, let's say, pick up the phone because that's what I talked about last time. And if you, if you check out the other posts, I talked about the fact that this person had a happy ending, right? Now they're, they're back together, family members have reunited and, and they're having a good relationship and, you know, it all feels good. But what happens when we get excited, we pick up the phone and we're offering an olive branch and that person on the other end isn't receptive? What do we do? Well, what I would like to offer is try to give up the expectation ahead of time, right? Because it's not our place to, um, it, sometimes we judge hard on other people not responding to us, not acting the way that we think that they should. And that can trigger things again. And if it does trigger stuff, that means you have more things to heal, by the way. But let's pretend like you do pick up the phone, <clears throat> excuse me, and the person on the other end isn't quite ready to, you know, have that good relationship or more communication with you. And that happens and it happens all the time. Um, so if that's the case, then it's really about you feeling good. Okay. So instead of maybe getting angry with the person because they're not acting the way that you wish they would, then maybe it's, you can realize that they have a right to feel the way they do, right? Because you don't know what it's like to be them. Even though it might look really obvious to you, the more we push our feelings and our thoughts and our agenda on another person, they're going to resist, resist, resist. And then we end up getting angry, having a blow up, and you know, we go back into the cycle all, sorry, all over again. Okay, so what can we do when we're disappointed? Well, we can feel good about ourselves, number one, that we decided to act uh, on our own empowerment. And that is a very big step. That is a vulnerable act to reach out to somebody without knowing whether they're going to shut you down or receive your offer. We don't know. So that takes a brave person. So I want to offer that first and foremost, that I'm proud of you because it takes a lot of guts to do that. A lot of our wounding from childhood is centered around um, feeling abandoned, feeling rejected, um, those types of, of things where we're, many of us carry those wounds. So when we open ourselves up to somebody and we tell them vulnerably how we feel and, and all that good stuff. If they say, well, you know, forget it. You know, this doesn't work for me. I never want to talk to you again. Well, <laughs> that's hard to take. So what can we do in that situation? Well, we can feel better about ourselves and knowing that we got brave enough and we were empowered. And then it's more about realizing that everybody has their own time right? Their own process to heal. Now, I have another client who um, realized that maybe we don't reach out to somebody expecting something back. We just reach out to somebody maybe saying, hey, I'm thinking about you. Or, you know, maybe it's their birthday. Hey, happy birthday. You've been on my mind. I hope you're well. Things like that. Things like that often get a response back. Um, it may not happen right away. It might take the time I'm thinking about with this client, it took about two weeks perhaps. And then all of a sudden she got a text, you know, and this again was family. And so now they're trying to figure it out. What's beautiful is they too have decided that they want to have some type of relationship. They're figuring it out. They know there's a lot of sensitivities, but it's kind of in life. Life is about navigating, feeling good about your response, feeling good about your part, I feel, is probably the only thing 
that matters. We all matter, but when it comes to us as individuals, how we walk away from an argument really matters, right? What was it that we said that now we're really disappointed we said? Um, stepping into that higher self so that we can, we realize we can respond, we have options. We don't only have to respond with anger. We can respond with compassion and uh, understanding that we're equal. And okay, you're not ready, that's cool. Um, well, I, I hope you're well. And if you feel like at some point, you know, you wanna talk, the door is open. You know, you can, you can leave things open-ended for people to walk through and come back in the relationship. And sometimes it takes people time. Everybody processes things differently. So this was long, but I hope it was helpful. A lot of people deal with this. We, we deal with a lot of family, sadness and anger and all of these, these things. So, and this is an important time of year too. It's that holiday season and it's important to, um, for us to feel better about ourselves and how we respond to others and always come from a place of love and your heart and you know you you do the best that you can and that's all you can do so love to you all